Hello, this is Dan and James at Scouts of the World of Woo! Discovery in London. Uh, we're looking at environmental sustainability and um, we're currently making a wind turbine. I have built a tree house. I have built a tree house. Nobody can see us. It's a you and me house. I have built a tree house. I have built a tree house. Resistance. There doesn't seem to be very much wind, so we're having to think about how much energy could be produced in the UK by wind farms or wind turbines, but ours is only a little scale one that can't get wet. But as you can see behind us, we are trying various different ways and they are hopefully going to try and get it going so it will look absolutely brilliant and so we can go back to our individual groups and sections and show them how wind will, will affect and get us electricity. If you look down to where our fellow Scout of the World members are standing in their hands, they've got different bits to um, measure the voltage. It took about half of this meter to make a buzz, to make a buzz earlier on on this, um, on this little buzzer thing, which means it requires a lot of wind. So if we try to power a house or just a PlayStation or a car with one of these things, we'd need to go somewhere very windy. Very windy. So here we have and it, the wind, the wind farm. I cannot so see those blades whirring round. We've been walking around today? looking for energy for ages now, of about 30 seconds, and we've not yet heard a buzz being produced by the energy of the turbine. <laughs> so therefore, I think more investment does need to be put into the development of turbines. Ultimately, this is a very little turbine. Yes, and it's yes. spinning. Is there a buzz? Still no buzz. Still no energy being produced. No. So from this, I think it's safe to say that the wind farms that are being produced across all the valleys of Wales and England are unfortunately not a credit to the wind farm industry. By putting up wind farms in places like Wales and off the shore, you're going to destruct the environment and chop down lots of trees. So deforestation might lead to an increase in greenhouse gases such as CO2 and methane, which is detrimental to the environment and ozone effects. And as you can see now, just behind us, it is turning a lot better. And as we've moved up the hill to more of an open space, it is, clear, it is spinning a lot better and a lot faster than what it was earlier. And hopefully now we have a better chance of getting it to buzz and we are actually creating a good amount of energy.